What's up y'all? Today I'm going to be sharing the one thing you should do when you decide to start your garden. It's pretty simple actually. The one thing you need to do before you pick a spot to start growing food or flowers or anything for that matter. Please, please, please follow the sunshine. The sun is imperative to growing good healthy plants. Of course you need your good fertilizer, you know, you need your water, you need all these things, including love, to grow beautiful plants. But the sun is very important because if the plants don't get enough sun, they can't thrive. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. That's the one thing you should do. And <laughs> I'm going to share this story with y'all. Back in 2019, I planted some watermelon. I had my main garden and I had a spot where I wanted to do like watermelon and I think it was cantaloupe. Well, the cantaloupe didn't make it. The watermelon started to grow, but there wasn't enough sunshine. And I planted them right by a shade tree thinking, okay, this tree is not that big. This is fine. But what happened was the watermelon vines started to like run out. You know, that's what the vines do. They grow, 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 grow. And so the vines started to climb out of the bed I had them in and they started to climb out towards the sun and run out towards the sun. So I had this, I had like three watermelons that came out. They grew, but they only got about the size of like a tennis ball. And I actually have that video on my channel if you want to watch and check it out. It's called The Shade of It All. I have a couple of videos on that. So yeah, y'all. Sunlight is key. Sunlight is key. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. For instance, this spot right here is getting a lot of sunlight. All you really got to do, y'all, is just kind of come outside a couple times a day and see where you're getting the most sunshine. This area has a lot of sunshine, so I'm probably going to put my greenhouse in this area or I may put another raised bed here. I'm not sure. But this is a really good spot. This is the spot that I chose to put my garden in because this area also gets a lot of sunshine now it's actually later in the afternoon so the sun is moving but this is why I chose this spot number one because it's uphill it's uphill okay and I get more sunlight in this area than the other area so what I did was the first couple of weeks I'd say when I came here, um, I just looked around, just kind of, you know, sat around and looked at the space and saw where I could get the most sunlight. This is the space, you guys. I want you guys to see the whole process. I'm getting the soil right. Plow day was on Friday, so we got that done. That's probably why. This soil looks so, so rich right now. I have bricks around the perimeter and I have to put more bricks up there, but I'm waiting. Um, I'm gonna wait like maybe another week to get the other bricks put up. I'm basically building a raised bed from the ground up, you guys. This is not anything fancy by any means. When I first picked this spot, it was just grass. Grass, leaves, and rocks. And this is what we have now. I expect to grow a whole lot of food in this space, you guys. So please stay tuned for the journey. Let's do a quick soil check. See how everything's looking? Everything is still loose. That's why I've been plowing so much, y'all. It, it, it has taken a lot of work to get this space looking the way it looks now. 
it has taken a lot of work but anyway so I'm digging down just so y'all can see how everything's looking you always want your soil to be nice and loose guys loosey goosey okay my goal is to have the richest richest soil that I can get before I start planting these seeds because I'm not going to be doing any transplanting of any kind this year I want to see if I can do this thing without all the extraness you know what I'm saying like I want I want to plant my seeds and just watch them come up. I don't want to be like transporting stuff from inside to outside. And I don't have a really big greenhouse. So I really don't, I really don't have, you know, all the fancy schmancy equipment like grow lights and stuff like that. So, yes, indeed, I'm just going to keep working on it. And when I feel comfortable, which I'm hoping there will be sometime in late March early April I'm hoping that I'll be able to start planting my seeds thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all on the next one